The nonprofit group Vermont Interfaith Action is working to create a safer environment in Burlington. Project volunteers say they're working with police and are starting with the King Street neighborhood because of its diversity and because it's an area officers haven't been able to focus on because of staffing issues. NBC 5's Tyler Boronsky joins us live in the newsroom now with more on their goals. Tyler? Yeah, as well, the goal is to build trust between community members and the police to create more dialogue so officers can better understand how they can protect residents. Going door to door to meet face to face. Through conversations, you know, we can start building some relationships. Vermont Interfaith Action has created an idea to put people's safety at the forefront in Burlington. And frustrated by the repeated um, horrific treatment of folks. Starting next week, volunteers will be going around King Street neighborhood asking community members to fill out surveys related to public safety. Questions around children's safety and driving safety and then questions about the policing and the relationships between the residents and the police. Public safety issues, but it hones in on very specific aspects of daily life. While this is an independent project, Vermont Interfaith Action wanted to get the support from Burlington Police to move forward with this initiative. Burlington Police Chief John Murat, who has seen major staffing issues within his department, says this is a good idea to better understand how the community feels. We always welcome new data. We welcome more information. It's always better than, more is always better than less when it comes to information about how the community feels or what people in the community are thinking. Neil says the survey results will help them assess what the main issues are in a neighborhood. The goal is to form a task force so they can specifically address those concerns and repeat the process for future neighborhoods. This would hopefully be a chance to really get to know the concerns of a particular neighborhood and the, the police could then become more acquainted with their issues and concerns. Now, volunteers will be going around the King Street neighborhood next Wednesday from 5.30 to 7.30, and then the following Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. They are looking for more volunteers. If interested, we have that information on our website, mynbc5.com. Live in the newsroom tonight, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.